In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine who is an amazing artist, so stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about valuable information that comes up in my past life regression sessions. If any of these topics are of interest to you, please hit the red subscribe button down below to subscribe to this channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. All right, so Jason, in addition to this artwork, you're also doing your own pieces as well. Can you tell the viewers about that? Because that's pretty exciting too. It's, it's also a unique process, and it was one that I discovered after coming back from a long spiritual journey, actually, about six months here on the Big Island. And that's what inspired the new artwork? Well, it inspired me. It uh, fed me with uh, energy and opened me up to so many new possibilities. So mm. when I went back, the first piece that I touched, which really was about nine months later from when I stopped painting to when I started again, um, was covered in, in white paint, but underneath I knew that there was three or four paintings. And I loved to paint on board because I liked the, the hardness of it and, and just the way that I could be a little more aggressive while painting. I love action in my, in my work. On board instead of canvas, so the board acts like a piece of canvas. You mean like wood? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So I would think that's a lot harder to paint on a board than it is on canvas. For some people, depending on how they paint, mm -hmm. um, where I like a little more aggressive and action uh, okay. in paint, um, and with the board that allows that. Yeah. So you mentioned something about layers. Right. How does so that I, work? Well, I came back and I had completely forgotten what was underneath. Um, but I had painted the whole thing in white because I didn't want anyone to see the last painting while I was going to be gone. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just scrape and use you know, some of that as the texture behind what would be another painting. But as I was doing that, I discovered that there was this image and I remembered it was a house. And it was down at the very bottom and corner of that piece. And I just started to cry because it had it had always been there, it was in the layers, and that was the Finding Home series that I had started before I left on my journey. And I found home, and I found home within. I had always been looking outside of myself, and this this particular time, it was like, oh, it's right here. It's been here the whole right. time. And that's why that particular process, the excavated series is actually what I call it, is, is a it goes back in time and it's it's chronological yet all the layers get exposed um, different parts and different pieces and not every memory or every piece of it is revealed in the final process some of it is some of it's hidden in the layers but you do get an overview and you do get to see something really unique and cool but how do you remember what's in those layers do you take a picture I don't. You don't? No. So it's just you have to remember it. I just intuitively love to just go for it and create some form that, you know, feels good in the moment. And some of the layers will get revealed and they're all kind of on top and they kind of all blend together. Kind of like the memories in the, and our past. Now are those available for purchase? They are. Are those also in the gallery? Currently just one of the galleries has this body of work. Okay. Most of my time has been dedicated to the Canvas on Edge body of work, um, but as I have more time, uh, there will be more of that work. It, it, it's, it takes a lot longer because there's a lot of waiting time and for one painting to dry and then another one then to be painted on top of that. So it could be months okay. before I even get to the part of excavating uh, those paintings. One of the things that I wanted to mention was that I can't draw at all. In fact, I can't even draw a straight line. But I was so motivated after hearing Jason's story. Jason only started artwork, you know, painting. He just, right? Like eight years ago, which is insane to me. I just assumed you had been doing it all your life. And I was so inspired that I actually created a mandala um, and gave it to you. It's the only artwork. Thank you. It's so <laughs> precious to me and it's on my altar. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, it just that's the only artwork I've ever created and it was definitely inspired by you 
there is no doubt about it. So now I can say that I did create some artwork, mm -hmm. and you have. And it's so beautiful. And yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I put a little heart in it, uh -huh. like because I gave you my heart. Uh, thank yeah, to you. Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else that you want to share that you feel is like really important for the world to know? You know, something that was that uh, came through for me was when I started to become an artist, or I took that first that first leap, that first jump. Um, I didn't know that I could be an artist and I just sat quietly with myself and this was after leaving um, I owned a store and I stopped I stopped doing that and so I had this time where I didn't know what I was gonna do so I sat quietly with myself an artist came into my mind and I was like I'm gonna be an artist and then I went out the next day and went to the art supply store and bought art supplies and started just playing and teaching myself how to paint. What did your parents think of this? You know, because most parents, they don't exactly encourage their kids to go into <laughs> doing artwork. You know? I, I would say my parents were really surprised. I didn't, I didn't know that this was within me. Yeah, maybe there's something within each of us that has yet to be revealed. And I don't think there's just one thing. I think there's more. And that's true, I agree with that mm -hmm. 100%. Did your parents say, well, you can't make a living as an artist? Were they worried? Um, at the time when I started, I don't even, I don't even know if I had told them right away. Oh, I see. And, um, and you know what, it didn't matter what anyone was going to say, because I was going to do it, and I believed it. Um, and the less that I uh, asked other people their opinion, was was actually better for me, um, but when I did hear an opinion that I didn't uh, sync with, I just I just let that go because I knew that I could do it. I don't know why I did, but I just had this faith. So you just listened to your instincts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you were just being true to yourself. Not to other people, because that's I, really why we're here, right? Yes, that's it what we're is. Here for. And it and it was a challenging journey. I mean, that it was it was a lot of a lot of hard work, and there were times when I needed to uh, remember that I believed in myself, mm -hmm. and that I believed that this was me, and I also felt regret that I hadn't thought of this or I hadn't become an artist sooner in my life, but. I resolved all of that because I was just grateful that I could actually become an artist right now and that I stepped into that and that I took that chance. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for stopping by the studio yeah. and saying hi while you're here on your trip because I know you're only here for a couple more days. Yeah. So I really appreciate it. So this is Jason, everybody. So thank you so much, thank and you. I will see you soon. Yeah. So thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll see more of you soon. I want you to know that I make these videos because I want you to remember who you truly are. You are a spirit being having a human experience. You come from a place of unconditional love. You are perfect in every way. You just don't remember it sometimes. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up so I know to record more videos like this. Thank you.